Guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. It's night time while well, I'm filming, so the lighting isn't the best. And this is just a short video of an update of my new baby boa constrictor. Her name is Lucy. And let me quickly show you how she is. I almost forgot to upload a video today. This is just a quick update on her, not like my regular video. Uh, just quick about maybe four or five minutes of this video. Uh, we had a party earlier. So it's pretty late now, and I almost forgot to upload a video today, but I'm still going to upload one, although I would rather be sleeping right now. Let me just quickly show you how, she, how it's going with her. So far, I haven't held her or fed her yet. Um, I've only left her in a cage. I'm going to hold her for the first time in a week of, of getting her this Sunday, then this Tuesday, I will, uh, I will feed her. I'm breeding with my own mice, and I have a round 56, um, 56 or 37, I'm not sure, uh, but it's 56 or 37 um, hopper and fuzzy mice. The fuzzy mice are a bit too small for her, and the adults are a bit too big, so I'm feeding her a fuzzy mouse. Next. Not a fuzzy, a uh, hopper mouse. A uh, hopper mouse is what I'm going to be feeding her. I have a lot of hoppers and fuzzies. I have no pinkies at the moment, but I don't need pinkies because she's too big for pinkies and fuzzies. She's the perfect size for hoppers. So let me quickly give you an update on her. Yes, my ball python. She wrecked her enclosure again. The background's down. She destroyed it. Her sticks are busy drying. I had to deep clean them today because she pooped and peed all over them. And here is Lucy's cage. You can see I made names like this. Lucy, I just made this. Just draw it basically on the cage. You can see it there. Lucy. Um, and I don't know if you can see her really good. I'm not going to disturb her now by putting my flash on. But I've got this thing because the glass is really easy to slide. So I've put it in here so it can't go open or close. Because I'm just scared that she's gonna be able to come out my ball python can get out because there's glue on the glass holding it in one piece and that glue makes it tough to open and close the glass not impossible i can do it with ease but she can't and here is lucy she is exploring usually at the night in the night because they are nocturnal i correct me if i'm wrong in the comments um i also Tomorrow I'll be turning my comments on for the videos because I don't know how to do it. But this is an enclosure store, basically the same. I haven't touched it or opened it yet since last Sunday. Just because I'm leaving it for like this for a week and leaving her alone. So that she'll hopefully not be like my ball python and refuse to eat for six weeks when I get her. <laughs> when I got my ball python beauty. She didn't eat for six weeks, so that wasn't really good. I tried right, um, rats, mice, all sorts of stuff. And my ball python is still a very picky eater. She only eats mice. She does not eat rats. But I'm hoping Lucy will not be like Beauty. Beauty is my ball python. Lucy is my boa constrictor. And this is the first time me owning a big snake. It's, she's not big yet, but she'll get big. It's a confirmed female. Two different breeders have probed and popped her uh, uh, multiple times and both of them, all the times that they've probed or popped her, both of them say it's female, so I know it's definitely a female and I love her, she's a beautiful snake and I wanted a female because I want a bigger snake and I know males can also get big but especially females, I want something big not, but not as big as like a Burmese or reticulated python but still big enough to be impressive to, uh, very impressive. And boa con a female boa constrictor was exactly what I was looking for. Then I met Lucy. And she is just, I've fallen in love with her. Um, I still, I love all my animals, but reptiles in particular is my passion. I love all animals, but reptiles in particular. Sorry about the glass, guys. I'll show you next week's video a better view of her. Well, I feed her for the first time and handle her again. 
uh, I'll clean her enclosure. I'll clean her enclosure Sunday and feed her for the first time this Tuesday. I feed both of my snakes Tuesday. And I've kept other snakes before. Um, I'm not just a beginner keeper that just decided it's a good idea to get a boa constrictor. I know in a lot of cases it's not the world's best idea to get a boa constrictor because they get pretty big. But if you know what you're doing, um, then a boa constrictor is, I'd say, the best big, not like giant, but best big species of snake you can get. Um, they are bigger than ball pythons. Of course, they're bigger than ball pythons, but they're really big, but not as big. Like they're not gonna, they're not a twin like your twenty foot python, but they are still. They can get up to fourteen feet for large females. Um, I actually have seen one that is fifteen feet long. So that's pretty long, and that's really really long. Um, but not all, of, not all of them get that size. Usually females get around, they can get up to 14 feet, but they don't usually get that size. They get around 3 to 4 meters sometimes. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much feet that is, but don't just jump into big snakes. Do your research and know what you're doing. And also maybe get some other snakes before you get big snakes. I've kept corn snakes. I've kept um, mole snakes. I don't know if you know what's a mole snake. Um, you can Google it. I I'll put a picture in the end of this video of a mole snake. Uh, everybody probably knows corn snakes. I have had two corn snakes, one mole snake, a ball python. That's beauty. And now I want something a bit bigger. So I got Lucy, my boa constrictor. She is a. I've, in my opinion, I might be wrong. Uh, do more research on this if you want a big species of snake matter. In my opinion, a boa constrictor is the way to go if you want a big species of a snake, but not giant and still big enough to be very impressive. And here's beauty. That's a glass that cracked and I hate it if she tears down her background. But I, you can see she has her height and humidity box and water dish is under there. Everything is still in. Um, just except for wood, it's still soaking wet. It should be dry tomorrow. Um, it's not soaking wet, it's just a bit wet. So tomorrow, I'll put it in tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's dry there, if not after tomorrow afternoon. But in my opinion, if you want a big snake, but not like a 20 foot reticulated python, get a boa constrictor. It still get massive, but not, they won't be able to kill you and swallow you all like some pythons might be able to. Not all pythons, that really it's really rare for any snake to eat a human. Um, I've only heard of I've only seen stories of that in real life. I've not seen it in real life, but I've only heard of a few stories of snakes eating humans. That has happened before, but it's if you're keeping big snakes don't worry about your snake eating you, but still keep them responsibly. Any snake, I'd say, 8 foot or bigger. Handle with two people. Don't just take it out alone. Make sure there's somebody else in the room with you. I'd say 8 foot, about 8 foot or bigger. It's like a big boa constrictor that's about 10 foot might be able to kill you if they get around your neck. So just be careful when you're handling big snakes. Even big boa constrictors, especially Burmese pythons and reticulated pythons and stuff. But I'm just talking um, while I'm showing you her cage, so let me turn the camera back to my face. Uh, as I was saying, if you are ever going to own a big snake over 8 foot, handle it while there's somebody else in the room with you, or wherever you and happen to be handling it. And if you have big snakes like reticulated pythons, boa constrictors, African rock pythons, anacondas, Burmese pythons, all those big stuff, you can put them outside on the grass. They'll explore there just make sure the you don't have dogs near them because it's not good if the dog bites your snake or if the snakes try to eat your dogs that's not good um, and make sure you are around them well the outside on the grass so that they can't escape but this is basically the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this video um, next week I'll be doing a care guide on ball pythons next week Friday and next week Tuesday I'll be showing you how I feed my 
boa constrictor for the first time and handler for the first time again the handling i'm going to be filming sunday and the feeding i'll be filming tuesday and uploading it tuesday so i really hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel share this video i'm figuring out how to turn comments on my aunt and uncle are coming oh actually already yeah that's why we part have uh, had a party but they uh, from now friday until monday so they're going home monday so they live in johannesburg we live in sasselberg so they year uh, every year about two weeks but enough about them um please leave a like on this video subscribe and as always i'll see you next week